Hey guys, Randy here. This week we're going to be talking about five things that I notice about living in Idaho. It's just things that I kind of noticed that maybe I didn't expect when I originally moved here or thought about moving here. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Randy here. I'm a realtor with Next Home Treasure Valley in the Mountain Home in Boise, Idaho areas. And like I said earlier, we're going to be talking about five things that I notice about living in Idaho. The first thing actually that threw me off guard is when I took my driver's test, uh, there was actually questions about if you hit a cow, who's responsible for it. Did not expect to see that on a driver's test. You know, it's a, it's a different way of living here than what I was originally used to, which is a good thing. It just was something that kind of caught me off guard. The town of Mountain Home that I live in during like October right now, it's just assumed that you've gone hunting. Like hunting is like the state sport almost, you know, besides like Boise State football. That's what people do. They go hunting, they go fishing. I've yet actually to go hunting or fishing. So maybe one day that'll be on my list. And that might be something that you've always thought about doing. I've been fishing when I was a kid, but it's been a long time. Uh, the third thing that when I moved here is uh, people were into certain events that I had never thought about going to, like the mud bogs. So the mud bogs, I'm sure they had them in California, but I had never heard of them. So basically it's racing in the mud. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I've gone to a few of them, but the people I went with, like that was such a big deal for them to go watch people race in the mud and that was something that I really hadn't counted on when I came here or wasn't planning on getting excited about. Uh, the fourth thing is, and I kind of talked about it earlier, is uh, Boise State is huge here. And when I say huge, I don't mean that everyone loves it because half of the people love Boise State, and myself included, and the other half can't stand when people talk about Boise State. It's, it's funny, it's, uh, you know, the yin and yang and ebony and ivory ivory it's just people are either really into boise state or they just love when football season's not going on obviously boise state has more going on than just football but that's like when the whole town here not just town but boise mountain home a big portion um gets super excited obviously there's other schools in idaho and there there are rivalries that you'll hear about but here in boise you definitely know when football season is happening this year unfortunately with covid it's been kind of weird they are supposed to be starting their season soon but we'll see how that goes the fifth thing I noticed when I came to Idaho that kind of threw me by surprise is, although Idaho's known for potatoes, here you really, it's not like that big a deal. Like you go to a grocery store and the potatoes are usually on the smaller side. In fact, I've been told they're actually a little bit more spendy. I don't remember what I used to pay for potatoes back in 2000 when I was in California, but that really kind of threw me off. Like I just thought potatoes would be everywhere. Like now there are restaurants like in Boise, there's a Boise Fry Company, but for the most part, potatoes aren't quite as prominent as what I thought it would be. And that kind of threw me off. Like, I thought they'd be everywhere. I mean, come on, we have the giant Idaho potato truck that drives around. Now, I did drive a potato truck for one day of my life. And that was actually just outside of Mountain Home here when I first moved to Idaho. And those potatoes, honestly, were huge. I mean, they were just... They were, they were bigger than footballs, I mean, some of them. And I found out those actually, I guess, get sold to like McDonald's and what have you for fries. But that was just something that kind of threw me off. I thought they'd be everywhere and they weren't. Anyways, thank you so much for um, watching this video. It was a little bit different this week, I know, but um, I just kind of wanted to go over some of the stuff that took me by surprise. If you thought about moving to the Treasure Valley, you can get your free guide at tvguide.randywrealestate.com. And then also check out these videos here if you want to find out more about moving to Boise or Idaho in general. All right. Thank you so much and have a great week. See you next Friday. Bye-bye.